Hello and welcome to the second lesson of this course. Now we have all of our images cut out of the background and now it's time to create a new document so that we can place them all together to start creating all the cool effects and filters that we're going to apply to this image so that they look like the graphic that I showed you on the first lesson. So let's begin, let's create a new document. Let's make it tabloid. You can make it any size that you want, of course, but I'm going to work with tabloid because we're going to focus on the characters itself, the, these guys, the, the images. So it doesn't matter the size really. Now, this background, let's make it like almost a very dark, purple tone like this one but try to make it really really dark okay like this is fine now let's create a new layer and we're going to take our gradient tool and for the color of this gradient we're going to make it like this magenta color you can see the composition. Now click OK. And make sure that the gradient is on radio. And let's create the gradient 10. Now we will have this. You can make this taller so that it covers more ground on this document. okay and now we're going to add this paper texture that of course I'm going to share with you let's make it vertical and let's set the blending modes to multiply all right, the idea here is to create a nice background for the images that we're going to be creating the effect on. Okay, I think this is fine. You can group everything. And let's make, rename this group as background. And now let's begin to add our images. Let's begin with the lady. Now let's lower the size and place it place her here on the middle. Because I want to position all the images in a cool way so that they look like some kind of, of mystery or something. Now let's keep this girl on this point and now let's start adding more images. Let's begin with this guy. He will be behind the girl. Lower the size. So he's by her side, looking to the right. This looks good. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about, about the edges of the image being cut out because we're going to add some things on here. We're going to add some objects here. To, we will cover it. Okay, he's fine in this place. Now, it's time for this guy. Now let's decrease the size, of course. And I want him 
first I want him behind all of them and I want him to be looking at the left so that the composition looks better go to transform flip horizontal okay and let's change the ankle just a little bit so that we can see more of his face and try to put him on the same place as this guy if you want you can bring the ruler if you need to all right this is fine let's bring him closer here so that we don't have any space between them and finally this guy will be on the back looking all mysterious make him I think this size is enough but let's also go to transform and flip horizontal because I want the lights to be the same on all of them you can see if like I have him before you can see that the shadows are on the right and the light on the left and for the other people we have the light on the right and the shadows on the left so I want all of them to be the same on the same light as much as I can of course because well they are all different images so it's really difficult to to put the same light into all of them but we can try our best and try to make them look like they are on on the same place okay so this guy goes to this point if you want you can group all of them so that we can work with them independently but right now this looks very fine so now we have our little composition of course it doesn't look so great right now but at least we have all the four people here on a nice composition and now it's time to add some cool effects which is the main point of the course of course let's add some uh, many effects and filters so that they look really really cool with some comic effect and we're going to play around with the colors of the shadows with the color of the light with the color of the neutrals and the dark tones on this image so we're going to have fun and the next lesson will be really nice so see you on the next one